G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is another food taste test and review. Uh, another one from Backcountry Cuisine. It's a chicken carbonara. And it's for a one person, this is. So the instructions, let's go to that first. Pull open base at corners. A shape bag to loosen contact. So let's pull out the base. Give it a shake. So there's a the content shaken. Uh, remove any sachets and add water stage on the label below. Stir meat thoroughly, oh, meal thoroughly. And then you squeeze the air out, seal bag with uh, internal zip, lock, let stand for 10 to 15 minutes, and then five, stir meal, Add more water if desired, eat straight from bag and enjoy. Yum. Okay, there's the chicken carbonara from Backcountry Cuisine. Uh, freeze dried chicken and pasta dish served in a creamy Italian style sauce. Net weight of 90 grams. Alright, if anybody's interested in the other bits on the back, uh, 415 calories, 22 grams protein, total fats is 15.7 of which 6.5 is saturated, carbs is 46.1 which 8.7 grams is sugar and sodium is 1150. So let's get the water on the boil and it needs uh, add 250 ml or which is one cup of boiling water Stir and stand for 10 to 15 minutes. All right, let's get it that open first. Let's check if there's any sachets in there. Nope, no sachets. And if you can see that on the camera, that's what it looks like inside, all the dried food. And let's close that for now. Get my handy little faithful BRS gas stove, and there's my just over 250 mil. Let's double check. Yeah, it's about two. Yeah, it's about 275 mil of water. So I always add a little bit more. So I find that's how I prefer it. And get the water on the go. Let's move that away a little bit. So while that water boils up, I'll speed up the video. If any of you are interested or recognise where I am, or have seen it in one of my other videos, I did a, uh, a meal review from here on the Bibbulmun track at the Chadora Shelter. Now, the reason I've come back here today and doing this one here is the last time when I was filming going back to dwelling up from here, it was a storm. So I didn't get much chance to do any filming. Uh, the forecast for tomorrow is low to mid 20s, that's so centigrade. So I'll take a, a slow walk tomorrow to do the 21 kilometers and I'll film that same thing. There we go, water boiling. So another shake. That's a noisy bit. Oh, give them handles a moment longer to cool down. They're still hot. Oh, no, I'll use this. And pour the water in. Let's 
put that there, and like this so. Give it a stir, let's get my little spoon. It smells all right already. Make sure I get all the powder from down all the corners. Don't waste any. Alright. Got the air out as I said. And seal the ziplock. And the time now is 1.25, so I'll leave that until uh, 140, you give it 15 minutes, and I'll make myself a cup of tea and speed the video back up. A nice cup of tea, eh? The only time I really drink tea is when I'm out on the track. Uh, I carry coffee sachets, but just don't fancy them and I've actually gone off the taste of the coffee sachets. I've only been spoiled by the fresh coffee at home. Yeah, it's been five minutes. Let's give it a stir. Oh, I see all the sweet corn and all the meat coming to the top. Oh, it smells creamy. Oh, it's nice by the smell of it. Got a nice thick sauce in with it. Tasting better. Let's close that back up. And give it another, up to another nine minutes. Let's just carry on drinking my tea. That's uh, 10 minutes, so let's give it a little stir. Almost there. Eh? So leave in the comments what other brands or flavours of the freeze dried meals you've tried and if you think they're any good and if I can get hold of any I'll give them a go and see what I think. They are improving. They used to taste like the dust and cardboard at one time but at least they've got some flavour now. And the actual meat in most of them tastes like real meat.
Joita. Also, let me know what you take with you for a drink. Uh, I try and keep mine low carb because that's how I attempt to eat. But I like my beer and my brandy, so I think that's maybe why I've got a little bit of a tummy on me. A little bit more than a little bit, but got a tummy. Okay, we're coming up to 15 minutes now. Let's tear it across here. They've actually got tear points halfway down the bag. So you can tear it off and just use it as a bowl. So you don't need one of the long spoons. You can get away with the small teaspoon size. Look at that, see if you can get in there. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Now, the main part the taste test this is chicken pieces, pasta. Yep, cook properly now. Get a piece of sweet corn, see if that's... Mm. Yeah, soft, sweet, crunchy actually. Not crunchy in a bad way. Crunchy as in sweet corn, crunchy. Mm. Need a bit more of a stir. Hmm. Even though I gave it 15 minutes, that's still hot. Not hot when it's a blister, but I can feel my tongue a little bit sore from taking too much and not blowing it. So that's a good insulation on that pack. Let's pick that up, excuse me. Abide by the leave no trace. So everything I carried in, all the packaging for the food, I'll carry out with me tomorrow. I'll dispose of it properly. Wow. What do I think? It's a nice, it is a nice flavour. Not my favourite out of them, but it, it is a nice flavour. There's, there's plenty in here. Uh, so. Excuse the slurping. The sauce, that is nice, that is. It is like a creamy, consistency so uh, it is nice would I recommend it to anybody if you like non-spicy food and you want something with some flavor uh, yeah this is a nice one like I said it's not my favorite I like a little bit of spice but for the chicken and the carbonara I didn't think it was going to be spicy. Yeah, I could recommend it. If this is your sort of thing, they have improved big time over the years. And it, it tastes like real flavour. It doesn't taste like the cardboard on sawdust like they used to. Would I eat it again? Yes, I would. Mmm. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's a winner, that one for me. Like I said, it's not the best. Not, well, not the best for my taste, but 
flavor wise quality wise it is a good one that's the chicken carbonara so from the backcountry cuisine which is actually uh, a New Zealand company so backcountry cuisine that's a thumbs up everyone that's a thumbs up so if you've enjoyed this video that's giving you an idea about what meals to take with you on your hike or if you're just going camping or car camping because <clears throat> this will do all of them and you haven't subscribed already please go down and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell on that next to it and click on all so you get notified of all videos going up and click the like button and if you're already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care now i'm going to finish my lunch if the flies don't get it first <laughs>